Get the video man himself. Oh, we're here at the Lake Clark here. We're riding back here with the cargo. Me and Will facing backwards. There's little Bobby out there. We drew the small plane. <laughs> Three hours of bumping. Tony are roughing it here at the, <laughs> here at the guide shack. <laughs> Got our pork chops and taters and salad tonight. Unfortunately, we can't be out there in our tents. <laughs> or over at the bay with 11 other people. Yeah. As you can see out there, them white caps, it means the, the wind is howling out there. All right, night three along without any clients. <laughs> Got some steaks. Popping up, more taters, got us a little salad mix, got some onions, bread. Oh, got that pork chop too. We can oh, yeah, in. we can do the pork chop. Throw the pork chop in. Yep. Tony's, Tony's our chef. Uh, team effort. But it's getting nice out here. Yeah. Looks nice. I guess it ain't too nice yet, but up high the winds are still blowing. It's gonna get out tomorrow though. Bear number two for the day. Up there just rolling around the snow. <laughs> Tim, this bear is bigger than that other one.
orders to you then. Seen two pretty good bears today. Tomorrow will be open. We get up a little bit. chilly but it's nice and even. Well, haven't did an update for a while but um, yesterday was pretty slow till the evening. Spotted a big bear and we took off after it. Wasn't able to get no video of it. Um, we cut the cut the distance and then it just disappeared as bears will do. And so we had a long walk this yesterday afternoon, but and come back to camp and today we're just classing here for camp again and haven't seen nothing today. It's been pretty slow. Um, hopefully this evening they start moving around a bit, but that's a update. Well. bears today. But we are getting a nice sun down now. Well, day three. Going blowing pretty good, but not worth getting out today. Not yet. Hopefully it clears up. Pretty nice. Canyon, no bears. Well, well. End of day three. It's getting slower and slower. But hopefully something happens soon. Never know it could happen quick out here. Keep my spirits going. Mama and two cubs. been a long day. I've seen a sow with a couple of cubs. It's dinner time. I'm trying some spicy sausage pasta. <clears throat> a little spicy. And I also put sriracha in it. <clears throat> and anyways, it's getting close to being wrapped up for the day. End of day three. Well, end of day three. What do you think, Luke? Luke don't think much. I try not. He looks like a deep thinker, but it hurts. It hurts. <laughs> he's really not. <laughs> it's getting cold. Uh, it's dropping off. It's what, 12 below zero right now? Yeah, it's probably 12 or 13. Yeah. He's still wearing his croc, so. Fixing to hit the hay. It's about 11 o'clock. Well, didn't get on here yesterday. <laughs> Haven't been seeing much. Day five. 
saw three bears this today. Too far away to get on camera. But we did move over by the river. Took a little walk to um, see if we can't find some river bears. I'll turn this around and see. This river goes way up yonder. Beautiful spot. Just haven't seen our bear yet. It'll show up. A lot of searching. I found it. There is a mower. Pretty cool. We're in the middle of nowhere. I'm trying to find bears. There's a sow over there. Fourth pair of the day, so that's pretty good. Over here. Some care of it. This is the lead set. Chasing the sun. Coming up the river here. There's the sow. There's on the other side. We're trying to figure out the best way to get set up if they come through here. Make a really good set of new sheds. Nice follow up. Ha, ha, ha. 
She hit him so hard with that first she shot. Just he just smacked him. Fall off the hill, you two. Good job. Good job. You nailed it. That was quite a wait, wasn't it? <laughs> that was awesome. Ooh, it's lucky part. Guys across the river. Luckily, I kept my waders with me. I shuffled them back across for her. Pretty cool. Ken's out there and he's getting me freezing. Good for the pole. Pretty cool we got our we got our bear. Uh, we waited seven hours for that thing. So it was pretty cool. <laughs> Somebody's gonna be cold. <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna be a cold one. Well, she got through one. Yep, only one left to go. Have you seen her that excited on another animal? No. That was pretty incredible. She was trying to kiss me, and all she, all she could do was talk while she was <laughs> <trying to kiss. laughs> She made one. It was a perfect shot. Give us a good shot. Yeah, yeah she made a good shot. Perfect. High in the shoulder. I think it stunned its spinal cord. And I think that's why it rolled and didn't jump. Hey, look up river! <laughs> I know, when you look down like that, it makes a difference. Hey, Kim, look up, look up river. Shuffle and look up. No, don't look down. You get Looking down makes you dizzy. You have to look at your feet a little, do that, but then keep looking up. Look where your feet are going, and then keep looking up. I don't weigh it though. It's like feet away. Make little steps. Oh, okay. She's getting wider and wider. Yeah. She's watching so quick that she's right near your pile. This will be your hard yeah, part no, right here. Hey, come over here. Get get below her. Take baby steps. No small steps. No small. You got you have to step though. Now now try to see where your feet are without staring down. I just need traction. I'm trying to push this way. I'm right in the bad step. Oh, there I go. Yeah. Coming for you, baby. Yeah. Yeah. seven of Kim's brown bear hunt on the Alaska Peninsula. She made a beautiful shot at about 160 or 70 yards. Uh, 
broke his back with the first shot using buffalo bore ammo put the next one right through the middle of him um, and I shot him in the neck because um, a beautiful bear he's a 10 footer um, and and you know he he could be 10 2 or something like that but he's a genuine 10 foot bear the prettiest uh, Alaska brown bear I've ever seen with his blonde colors um, I've never seen one this blonde and he's just a big old wild boar um, and we're humbled to take him Kim did a perfect perfect job so couldn't have done it without you babe and Johnny and Luke and Vast Alaska Cash and <clears throat> Bill uh, who flew me in on a Super Cub never done that before it was just incredible <laughs> the best seven days of my life other than having my children and marrying Kim. This is better than your children. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just grateful for God's gift. Thank you. Yeah, it was a great hunt. I sure enjoyed it. Sure sure happy the way it ended up. <clears throat> we uh we spotted this bear this morning at ten thirty. Got down here to where we thought it might be at one and we shot it at nine. We sat for eight hours watching, waiting on this bear to move. He was only 200 yards away. <clears throat> Pretty awesome. Best ammo in the world, Buffalo Bora. That's right. Well, there goes the last load for the day. All that's going to be left is me sitting here waiting on the next plane to come in. It's been a fun trip. It's always fun when you're successful. Clients are happy. I enjoy this last, this last little bit by myself. Oh, here, I'm making a mess of this. This last little bit by myself out here. Time to reflect on the hunt. Had a great time. And uh, always happy to be done. But always leave you throughout the, about a, halfway through the year, you'll be thinking, man, I can't wait to get back. It's always nice to be finished up. Had a blast. Put this video together. Hope you guys enjoy it. And if you want to do this, Get a hold of Vast Alaska. They can, uh, Cash Joyce can hook you up. Have a good one.